guys and welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Marisa Glam and in today's video we are going to be reviewing the new wet n wild photo focus foundation dewy luminix <laughs> foundation so I did have the first foundation that they came out with and I loved it I did I do remember using it a lot and when I saw that they came out with a dewy foundation, I was like, I gotta, I gotta try that out. Lately, I have been, you know, kind of more on like the matte foundations just because my skin is just, <sighs> my skin's all over the place. I do have combination skin, so sometimes dewy foundations can work for me and sometimes um, matte foundations can work for me. Uh, lately, I've been using matte and I have been mixing it up a little bit with dewy foundations. I do have my um, Maybelline Fit Me Dewy foundation that I love and I use that a lot. So I am gonna go ahead and give this one a try today. In the back of the bottle, it does um, claim that it hydrates and smooths complexion for a luminous finish, buildable coverage for normal to dry skin. Now, normal to dry skin. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out. What I am gonna do, um, I did kind of just do like my eye makeup and whatever because I didn't want to come on here looking all scary, like always. I'm gonna use a foundation brush and I'm also going to use my um, e.l.f. sponge and do one side beauty blender and the other side the brush. So that's what we're gonna do today. So let's go ahead and let's see, open this up. Oh, it has like a little spatula. You know what, I wanna see if I still have the old foundation Aha. okay so I do have the old foundation and I think this one's pretty old so this one is in desert beige the old one I did get this one in golden beige they do look a little bit off a little but we're gonna still try it so this one seems more like it was used to even out your skin and your complexion versus this one is more like for a dewy and hydrating um, sort of complexion so I did like the old formula I'll put that right there but I do want to see this one now we're gonna go ahead and give this a try let's go ahead and apply that oh yeah it's really light <laughs> I don't know why I got this color okay so off the back you can already tell like this is not really my color but we're gonna make it work okay it still has that paint smell if you guys remember the old one yep oh this one's stronger though this one has a stronger paint smell um, this one has more like a flower paint smell but it's not as bad as the first one I don't know why that one smelled like that but let's go ahead and blend this into the skin I could definitely tell that this one is going to be very dewy just because there's so much sheen like to the foundation and I mean if you like that look then I think you would really like this foundation I feel like if you're I don't know I, I kind of feel like if you're on the more oily side this might not be your foundation I'm just saying this is the side with the sponge as you guys can probably tell it's kind of a little too light for me compared to like my neck but we're gonna fix that with some bronzer <laughs> now let's go ahead and try using the beauty blender on the other side so I didn't put any um, uh, primer because I just really want to see how look at that Look what I did. <laughs> Let's just go in and give me some highlight or something, okay? Um, but like I was saying, <laughs> I didn't use any um, primer because I really want to see how the foundation holds up. Hmm. I do feel like you get more of a coverage with the brush. I feel like the Beauty Blender, the sponge, really does 
calm the dewiness down. If you guys can tell. Versus that side. Okay, so I've, I'm not a big fan of using a brush, you know, to do my foundation. Only because, I don't know, for me, I don't know why I like it when you use a sponge. Um, I do feel there's a difference between both. So with the sponge, I feel like it kind of settles the dewiness down. Versus the brush, I feel like it leaves a lot of that on the skin. And there's more coverage. I think I'm going to go in one more time on this side with the, just right here because why not? Why not? Okay, so I feel really white right now. <laughs> I don't like the foundation color. I do feel like if I do like this foundation, I am gonna go ahead and pick up a little bit more of a darker color. Lately, I've been messing up, you guys. Like, I've been buying like really light shades for some reason, and I have to remember, girl, you're not that light. Sometimes buying foundation and concealer from the drugstore to me is kind of like a, it's kind of like a battle. I don't know if you guys feel like that, but sometimes like you just don't know what shade it is. And then at, in the bottle, it looks different. And then once you open it, it's so much lighter. And then sometimes it's like really light, like in the front of the bottle. And then when you open it, it's dark. So I'm like, can you help me here? They need to put little testers on the drugstore, but then. I don't know. I don't know if that'll work. So this is the side with the brush and this is the side with the sponge. I do have to say that it is buildable. I do see like it is full coverage. Like I'm not, I'm, I'm pretty like that claim I stand behind. Um, it is dewy, but I feel like if you use the sponge versus the brush, it kind of calms down the dewiness a little bit. Um, if you go in with a brush, I do feel like it shows more, but that's just me. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back to show you guys how I fixed this brought her, okay? <laughs> All right guys, we are back after a million years. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna say that it did take me, because of the shade I picked because I'm an idiot. Um, I did have to bronze and work with it a little bit more, but the good thing about it is that I did use the Wet n Wild Cream Contour in the shade Maple, Call Me Maple. And this is the one that I always use, guys. Like, I love this cream contour. Okay. Um, but I had to use quite a bit of it because, um, yeah, it was pretty hard to get this to calm down because it was just so light. So far, I'm loving the foundation. The thing that I liked about it is that when I was applying the cream contour on top of the foundation, I didn't see the foundation moving. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but on some foundations, when you cream contour on top of them, they do move and then they start to show, you know, your blemishes and you can start seeing your skin and all the things you want to cover. So the good thing about it is that this foundation didn't do that. Um, it was very easy to blend on top of the foundation. So that's one thing that I did like about it. Um, I do like the way it is holding up. Um, I know it's like a very dewy-ish type of foundation, but I don't really feel after you set your makeup, you know, you set it with powder. I used my Fit Me Loose setting powder, one of my favorite drugstore ones. Um, that if you do this and you also, you know, cream contour and then you use an actual powder, it all kind of sets itself in and it doesn't look as dewy. How it holds up now, we're gonna have to see how this holds up. I am going to use it for a few hours. I think right now it's like four o'clock in the evening. Yeah, it's four o'clock in the evening. Um, I don't have my phone on me, it's charging, so I can't show you guys the time, but trust me, it's four o'clock in the evening, and I am gonna wear this for the rest of the day, you know, just to look cute around my house, I guess. I don't know. I will let you guys know how I feel about it, how it's holding up. I didn't put any setting spray, normally I do, but I'm not going to today because I do just want to see how this holds up. I'm not going to blot in it or anything like that. I'm just going to see how it holds up. So I will be back to show you guys how I feel about this foundation. Let's hope and pray. God, please. I've been a good girl. I'll be right back. Hey guys, and welcome back. Um, hold on. Is there anything in my teeth? You guys, 
I am a little tipsy right now because it is a single de mayo, so bear with me, okay? Whew, okay, all right guys, so I am back with my results. No, that's the DNA test. Get it together. All right guys, I am back with my review. Gosh, guys, I really gotta get this together. All right. You guys get used to these kind of things okay because your girl I be on that sometime okay like I was saying I am back and I'm going to tell you guys how I feel about the foundation and how everything has been holding up so I put this foundation on around four and it is now 921 if you can tell yes it's 921 so it's been a few hours and honestly the only thing that I'm going to say about the foundation is that I picked the wrong color okay I will be going back to pick up a more darker foundation you know because your girl feels like all of a sudden I'm light complected and no okay I am not I am morena okay I am nowhere near the foundation shade I picked today but it happens so the only thing I will really say about this foundation is that it does hold up pretty well. Um, the dewy side of the foundation, I don't know, like my skin lately has been really dry. So with my skin being really dry, I don't know if it's absorbing all of like the oils and all of that from this foundation because my skin is so dry right now. I do live in Arizona. It is really, really hot out here and really dry. So I don't know if that's a reason why I don't feel like it's super dewy on me i i like it i feel like it is full coverage i feel like it's buildable i do kind of feel like the side where i applied my foundation on the beauty blender side that i can tell that my imperfections like my dark spots are peeking through more but remember in the beginning of the video i did um i didn't apply like when i was using the elf sponge I was using it was absorbing more of the oil and absorbing more of the foundation and some sponges do do that on this side I can just see a little bit more of my dark spots and then on the side where I applied my uh, foundation with the beauty with my brush let me get it with my brush um, I do feel like I don't see my dark spots peeking through so I don't know, I just feel like you just get more of a, of a coverage when you use it with a brush instead of a sponge. But I like to do both. Sometimes I apply my foundation with the brush and then I go over it with the beauty blender just because that way I can get more of like a, I don't know, like a skin-like finish. I don't know, if, other than that guys, I really feel like I like this foundation. Um, I really like the way it, it was. it's holding up. I don't feel like, I don't know, I, I'm really impressed by it. I honestly have been loving Wet n Wild products for a very long time and when it comes to their foundations I don't think I've had one foundation that has made me be like no trash I think I've kept all of them and have used them the foundation stick is good um, this con this foundation is good and so is the original foundation um, which is this old one right here that I liked a lot and I used this for a long time actually I think I need to get rid of this because <laughs> I think it's expired yeah I don't know what else to say about this foundation I do feel like it wears well I do feel like it is buildable and it is full coverage um, it can be probably very luminous and dewy to other people who are not experiencing really dry skin like me but to me I feel like it's holding up just like every other of my foundations so I like it yeah if you guys have any questions or if you guys have used this foundation and you guys want to leave me you know any comments about it please leave me comments please let me know if you guys like it what did you guys get from this foundation don't forget to like and subscribe um and yeah that's it. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.